This is 11.1 .1 Cardiovascular System Notes. The essential question is, what are the functions of the cardiovascular system and what structures make up the covering and the walls of the heart? Cardiovascular system is one of the closed system, which means that the blood travels in designated area, the, uh, specifically the blood vessels, and does not exit the blood vessel. The heart is the pump that supplies the force that moves the blood in the arteries, and then the blood vessels carry the blood throughout the body, delivering materials such as oxygen and other materials, and then taking away a waste product like carbon dioxide. The function of the cardiovascular system is a delivery system. Their job is to deliver nutrients and oxygen to the tissue and to remove waste products such as carbon dioxide and other um, byproducts and waste products from digestion away. Also remember the last unit, they also carry hormones to uh, target t cells. And they do also carry white blood cells that play a role in immune system also. The heart is located in the chest cavity, specifically in the space called the mediastinum. The base is the widest portion of the heart, and it sits at the second rib. The apex is the pointy part of the heart, and it is located in the fifth rib level, and the tip points toward the left hip, so it sits at an angle. Like all organs that are not exposed to the outside, there are serous membrane covering it. The membrane covering the the serous membrane covering the heart is called the pericardium, and the double layer, the layer that is closer, closest to the heart is the visceral pericardium, and then the outer sac that holds the heart is the parietal pericardium. The space between the visceral pericardium and the parietal pericardium is the pericardial cavity, which contains serous fluid, which reduces friction when the heart is pumping. There are three layers to the wall of the heart. The most outer layer is the epicardium, which is also called the visceral pericardium. The middle layer is the myocardium. It is the thickest and is the muscular layer. This is what allows the ventricles to create enough force to pump blood. And then endocardium is the inner lining of the heart. It is also called endothelium. Again, the most outer layer is the epicardium or the visceral pericardium. Then the The widest part is the myocardium, which is the muscular layer. And then this wider area in the inner side is the endothelium or the endocardium. 11.1 .1 notes homework. Number one, what are the major functions of the cardiovascular system? Number two, explain how the double layers of the heart covering formed. Number three, what is the function of the myocardium? 11.1 notes homework. Number one, what are the major functions of the cardiovascular system? Number two, explain how the double layers of the heart coverings formed. Number three, what is the function of the myocardium?